it, Dom. It's your stuff. No, it's yours. That's remnants from Walmart pallets. That's your stuff. You're the one that needs a pack, not me. I need what? Look at this one, what is this one? So there's a storage unit. This has got a bunch of blowers in it, so it made me think it was part of the other storage unit. But there's another storage unit with a bunch of jump houses in it. So this one here, and it looks like, these look like the real good heavy duty ones, right? The ones like people run out. So these things are like four or $5,000 each to buy, and there looks to be, I don't know, six or seven in here. So that's probably a good uh, a good unit to buy. This is the one I think I'm gonna buy, the one that we kind of looked at the other day. So it's got the side-by-side -side right here. All those toolboxes in the back. One, two, three, four, five toolboxes. And this is a big unit too, so this is 10 by 30, so it's deep. It's a ton of tools in here. I don't know what this orange thing is, a press maybe? Some sort of press? That's right. That's a bandsaw, a MIG welder. Not to mention this, this looks like it's in pretty good shape. A go-kart or something, I don't know what it is. We had one and we sold it pretty fast, didn't we, Paul? Go-kart? Yeah. No. That side-by-side. -side. here for a while, we had two of them. Paul, so no. what was that? They were here a while. But look at all the toolboxes, man. How, what if those are filled with tools? We're gonna hit a home run. We can finally give Ian some tools so he's going to quit stealing mine. It's only a thousand bucks right now, so I kind of like this one. Let's bid on it. All right, we're the high bidder. Let's see if we win it. It ends uh, Monday. That's why I wonder when I do, when I buy a storage unit doing it live, I wonder if other people get on there and bid against me who are, who are watching the live, sure. right? Yeah, exactly. Look at all the other auctions. There's a ton of auctions here. We might as well buy more stuff. If we're going to be there, we might as well buy more stuff, right, Mandy? 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 For Alex. What? I hear you. You and your storage units. You and your storage units. You like storage units. I think. I like to pack them up. You helped us. This one, what is this one? Looks like a, I thought it kind of looked like a kid's like a daycare. Yeah. <gasps> Display cases. Uh-oh. We need those. Fridge? Is that a fridge? Yeah, we need to buy this one. Where's Sanford? Sanford is. Uh, Everybody, this is Alex. She's very camera shy. She doesn't want to be on camera. I'm not sure. You know, look, look what she did to her hair. It's all, all pink now. So, it, it, are you only doing your hair just for uh, breast cancer month, or are you gonna leave, leave it after this month's over? Guys, you should see her face. <laughs> so we just got in these uh, Jordans. They're size 17. I don't know who wears a size 17. I might, I might be I don't know who wears a size 17, but that's a pretty damn big person. I think Shaq's shoes were size 22. So could you imagine Shaq's shoes being this big? And that's insane. They're, they're pretty neat though. I don't know what model they are, but you know, all these shoes have dates on the inside. So you can see they're, they're from 2015. So that puts it, uh, you know, six years old. So they're not that old. But uh, you know, I'm you know, I think if I could find somebody who wears this size, or you sell them on eBay, this is probably going to be an eBay item. I'll clean them up, but I'm I'm sure that I can get 50 or 60 bucks. I don't think they've been worn. They kind of look new, like they've never been worn. So I think it's a real good item. I, I I bought it in a bulk lot of stuff, so I might have paid about five bucks for the shoe. So boom, send them right over to Esteban and eBay. Finding that kind of value for us, it would be 30 cash or 50 store credit. But I don't really care if I buy it. Store credit. So it looks like a gaming setup. So the memory's two gig. That's a graphics card, right? Yeah. Problem is, I don't even know what to look up for it. I mean, model number on it. I would bet you though, during the day back then, this was probably pretty good. Yeah. It is, it is yeah. older. So we 
own bin stores. I don't know, Paul's described our bin stores. So bin stores, we really, we just put a bunch of stuff in there and okay. one day it's five dollars, next day it's four, three, two, and one. We don't even care what it is. We just get rid of it that way. So we have one in Winter Haven and we have one in Port Ritchie and we're about to order and open another one in Leesburg. I feel like I must, I must have seen one in Leesburg before, just online. Yeah. I, we do daily lives there. We, we're always, it's called deal days. So that, that, this is very difficult to run. I mean, you know what it's like to inventory everything in your... Yeah, sure. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Yeah, so those stores, those take, get all of our overflow. We just dump it in there and we don't even care what we get out of it. Yeah. And then we do a bag sale once a month where they can fill a bag up for 20 bucks. Yeah. This is my freaking problem, right? I got my wall, my wall of stuff, my wall of stuff, and... You know, when, when we get something in that I need to review, I need to look up, I need to research a little bit, I haven't put it on my wall. But then Mandy piles all this crap in front of my wall and I can't get to my wall. So I'm on a mission to try to clear it all off, figure out what I got for eBay. I got thousands, tens of thousands of dollars worth of sports cards and you know, all this different stuff here, but I just can't get to it because these girls won't, won't clean up their mess. See, the problem is, first of all, it's not you our shit in front of his treasures, and he never gets to his treasures anyway, because he's so ADHD, he has his hands everywhere except for taking care of it. Well, that's my goal to get to it right now, but I can't get to it. I mean, what is all this stuff? I don't know, that's been there for at least three months. I've been asking for three months, four months, whatever the hell that is. What is this? Why is there a, a high chair over here? Or a... Stroller. I know it's been a while, but that's a stroller. It's been 10 years. We have clearance cycles, and then we also mm -hmm. run through on a monthly basis also, but I mean, it's I can't, because I worked at Played Against Sports, I, I ended up opening another business and it failed, so I went back to college and I wrote my master's thesis on the emergence of used merchandise in a modern economy. And that's where I came up with the idea of Resale America, trying to do, well, it's really just what you do, but you know, with every category. Yeah, with every category is what we trade. I'm buying a $20,000 truckload as we speak. E-scrap. I was wondering when you were going to- I finally got the right deal. I got, I found it $8,000 cheaper, so I hopefully I have it locked up. But you, I mean, you guys just rely on what Customers. bring in. You, there's no new stuff in there, right? Now, every once in a while, we'll get some stuff, um, like new products for being that kind of thing, but nothing, nothing significant. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would, I would think that like you could go on like the Target, B stock on Target and look at the baby loads on there and stuff, B stock. So B stock has thousands of auctions that end every day, and I'm sure you can find a category specific to you. you just order like ask, two pallets or something like that. Of, of you can be specific as to kind of so I can say two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Some of them will. So some of most of them are general merchandise, but they'll narrow it down to you, like kids this or kids that. And, okay. You know that's yeah. Bstock.com. I, I would recommend that. We buy a lot from there. These air conditioners. We just bought these air conditioners at 10% of retail. You know, that's just, that's it's, it's really easy. I mean, we, we follow the same model. We try to price things at 50% or new. Okay. So buying it at 10%, you know you can five times your money. Yeah. And probably air conditioners, you can get more than 50%. Okay. I, I think we get 60, 65 out of those. Yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah. No, I think Why is this over here? Maria? I don't know. I don't get things over here. My daughters are not allowed to have, they're not allowed to get married till they're 27 and they're not allowed to have kids until they're 30. There are rules. And there's no such thing as a baby daddy, okay? No such thing. You know what, my sister was married when she can see her children and guess what, they got divorced. You're a baby daddy? No, I'm not a baby daddy. <laughs> Why don't you start taking some stuff over here that you guys can do? It's not my mess. That's your mess. Want it, it's your stuff. No, it's yours. That's remnants from Walmart pallets. That's your stuff. I need what? First of all, there's a shoe. Does anybody know where the match is? Probably not. Honestly. Probably wasn't a match. So where did most of your sales come from then? Is it just general consumer like me coming in? Or is contractors? No, no, it's it's general consumer. We do we sell a lot of furniture, you know, a lot of furniture. General shoppers and then pallet sales. Probably not even 40, probably 25% of that are my resellers that are coming in buying by the pallets. Okay. And um, we have a couple of them that 
shop specifically in bulk if we have a bunch of it. We'll do it out that way too. But it's about 70, I'd say 75, 25. Okay. It is a lot. That's a ton. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, let me hey, take one of my business cards. If you ever have any questions or concerns.